we're embarking on a hair-raising journey into the heart of Tokyo, where the past and the paranormal intersect. Join us as we unveil the chilling history of the eerie occurrences of the infamous Yaneka Cemetery. So over the years, countless reports of ghostly apparitions, the unexplained phenomena, and all kinds of mysterious encounters have emerged from Yannicka Cemetery. Visitors have recounted tales of eerie whispers, inexplicable cold spots that send shivers down your spine, kind of similar to how I've been feeling out here. But despite its haunting reputation, Yannicka Cemetery remains a place of great cultural significance. It houses the final resting place of notable figures from Japan's history, including samurai, artists, and the last shogun. As we stand here at these ancient tombstones that are centuries years old and trees that are centuries year old, you can't help but feel the weight of the history and presence of the unknown. The Yanaka Cemetery is more than just a graveyard. It's a testament to the enduring mysteries that continue to captivate our imaginations. As we embark on our investigation of Yanaka Cemetery, we hope to shed a little bit of light on the paranormal phenomena that have puzzled and intrigued so many people here. Our mission is to explore the depths of this historic site and uncover the truths that are hidden within the ancient stones that lie here. The history of the Yanaka Cemetery dates back centuries it bears witness to the passage of time like no other place in Tokyo. Its origins trace back all the way to the Edo period, the time of samurai, shoguns, and ancient traditions. One of the most striking features of the Yanaka Cemetery is its labyrinth-like layout that it has. The gravestones and the monuments, some dating back hundreds of years, they create a mesmerizing maze that holds countless stories within its confines. But we cannot dive into Yannicka's history without encountering the tales of the spirits that are said to roam these grounds. Local legends speak of the restless souls that are unable to find peace in the afterlife here and continue to wander among the tombstones. Even walking among this place, I feel really creeped out and I'm getting goosebumps. It's not even that cold out. But what truly, truly sets Yannicka Cemetery apart is its role in Japanese folklore. The graveyard is believed to be a realm where the living and the dead meet, a place where the boundaries uh, of the ne this world and the next world are very thin, making it a hot spot for paranormal and paranormal activity. Let's take a step back to 1872, a period of immense change in Japan following the Meiji Restoration. It was during this transformative era that the Yanaka Cemetery known as the Yanaka Bochi at the time, was established. The Meiji government, driven by nationalism, brought about significant shifts in traditions and religious practices, leading to the separation of Buddhism and Shintoism. This cemetery holds a very unique place in history, boasting its own police station here and an enclosed area dedicated to the Takugawa clan. The Takugawa clan was the illustrious family of the Japan 15 Takugawa shoguns. Notably, the final shogun, Takugawa Yoshinobu, rests in eternal peace on these hollowed grounds. Okay guys, I thought that this was super cool, so I thought I'd just show you this real quick. This is actually the grave of Yokoyama Taikon. He was a painter from the Meiji to the Showa eras. And look at this, wow. It is so gorgeous here. They really, really do a good job of keeping this place up. There's all kinds of symbols of Buddhism everywhere. Look at the sky tree, look blasting a ray of purple light into the sky. Unbelievable. All right guys, so we are here at the Shogun's final resting place and I'm gonna show you guys just a minute, just right past these gates. Originally, the Yanaka Cemetery was actually an integral part of a Buddhist temple called the Tenno-ji. And its central street actually served as like an approach road to this sacred place. 
Midway along that central street, you'll find the haunting remains of a once magnificent five-story pagoda. This pagoda actually held such a significance that it served as an inspiration to Koda Rohan's novel, The Five-Story Pagoda in 1908. But tragically, and very, very unfortunately, because we won't be able to see it ever again, the pagoda met a fiery end the fateful summer night of 1957. Somebody burned it down in a double suicide arson case. Recognizing its historical value, city authorities later declared this place as a protected historical landmark. So, fellow seekers of the supernatural, prepare yourselves for a spine-tingling adventure and journey into the heart of Yannicka Cemetery. We're gonna see what kind of things that we can uncover here. Together, we'll navigate its history, legends, and the chilling encounters that have left investigators and visitors alike just in awe. Welcome to another exciting episode of Boozy Bros. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you in here. Let's see the resting place of the final Shogun of Japan. Look at that. That is incredible. So for our first experiment, I'm gonna go ahead and try to make something happen, try to um, generate some energy so that the spirits that are here can use it and hopefully have enough energy to communicate with us or make something happen. Uh, right now it's storming a little bit, but we'll be okay. So let's, let's try this out. Ready? For our first experiment, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out a bunch of paranormal equipment and see if maybe we can capture something that's going on here. Um, I have our very own REM pod um, in, in the Ovilus. It was invented fairly recently. Um, what it does is it detects EMFs, temperatures, and if it is touched or not. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put an umbrella over our items here because uh, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit and I don't want that to possibly disturb our findings, so. This REM pod, if anything comes within its proximity, it will go off. And you can see right here, I have to basically touch that in order for it to go off at all. So if that thing goes off, then that means something's here. So, koko ni nanika arimasu ka? Arimasu ka? Arimasu ka? Koko ni arimasu ka? Koko ni arimasu ka? I'm basically asking if something is here with us. I'm probably totally butchering that, but... What I'm gonna do, guys, is as an extra precaution, I'm gonna go ahead and whip out this music box. Uh, if anything walks in front of it, it's just gonna set it off and make it go off. So we'll see what happens. So the weird thing is, um, whenever I am out investigating, typically I can kind of sense and feel if there is a spirit around, but Honestly, right now, I don't really feel like much is around. I don't feel like there's anything around. I'm gonna see if possibly I can use this Wimhurst machine to generate some electric electricity in the air. This generates kind of an electromagnetic field and provides energy for an entity out there. Please use this energy to communicate with us and touch our devices. Can you tap this black box. この入れるギーを使って私たちのデバイスに触れて私たちと通信してください。このブラックボックスをタップしてもらえますか？See, I don't like how that's interfering. Huh? Well, like the thing interfering with it seems to be interfering. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over here. And I, I don't want anything to uh, interfere with our research at all. So here at Yannicka Cemetery, uh, there's there's been a lot of historical significance. Uh, it's raining a little bit right now, but we're not going to let that stop us. We're going to see if we can hopefully capture something. I really, really do want to capture something. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to set out some cat balls too and see if David can make something happen. I'm sure you guys have seen us use these before and you've probably seen these on TV. 
all these do is I ask a spirit to go ahead and touch these. It doesn't take a whole lot of energy for them to move one of these, so um, it lights up just letting us know of their presence. So let's see how these work. I'm going to go ahead and set one away from us, and then I'm going to go ahead and set one behind me. I'm going to set it all as this gray. The reason I set these on these graves is because in our experience, um, we haven't had a whole lot of success just leaving it on the ground, but they tend to really react to it if it's on their grave. So we're going to see if maybe I can make something happen that way. Spirits, if you are here with me, can you please touch any of our devices around us? They will detect you and let me know about you. This is probably not correct translation, but what I'm really hoping for is maybe they'll kind of get the gist of it and still do something. Spirits, can you please use this energy from my device to communicate with me and touch something? We are literally right outside the Shogun's Finder Rent City Place. So I'm hoping that maybe this will make something happen out there. I think, uh, see, normally something will touch this and make it stop and all it needs is a light little tap or something. Like, something typically will interact with our stuff, but I don't really feel the presence of anything. It hasn't really set, nothing's really set anything off. Let's maybe move on to a different... Huh. S. Chile. Okay. Oh. What the hell? Found a spell. Okay, guys, we're gonna move on to a different spot and see if we can capture something. Okay, guys, I'm in a different section. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is leave my devices over here and see if hopefully something will communicate with us um, over here on these graves. Like I said, you do have to touch this for it to go off. So. so the weird thing is, um, this thing isn't really working very well. Okay. So, I'm gonna toss this cat ball just a little down the road. Um, just in case they're a little shy of the light, you know, we're going to see what that does. I want to set this music box. This is just like a proximity sensor. Um, if anything gets close to its proximity, it will actually just set off. Okay. Spirits, can you, I asked you to please touch one of our devices. I still it out and stay good aside. Ooh. I almost knocked that off, man. He tried to set this on my lap and then tried to initiate something about it. Is there anything you want to tell the world before I leave? That's not what I asked, but... Okay, guys, so the rain is coming in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this kind of a shorter video. I just wanted to show you a little bit about the history of this place. I think it's, I think it's quite amazing. Um, I don't feel, I don't feel very creeped out about this place. Um, I am starting to feel a little bit eerie with um, all the noises that are randomly starting to go on now, um, but that's okay. I do have some good news. I genuinely believe that in Yannicka Cemetery that the spirits have in fact moved on and they're no longer here and that honestly brings me a lot of peace and I hope it does a lot of people out here. Um, I've conducted a series of little experiments. I've done some stuff on camera, off camera 
um, just because I wanted to find the answer. I really wanted to know, is there something here? Is there something lingering here? Um, I believe that there isn't anything lingering here. I think that is good news in a way. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and go check us out on our other social media pages like Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok. I really want to create a really big comparable community where we can go out in the field and make scientific discoveries about what is going on out there, what kind of mysteries can be unveiled. So thanks again for watching and until next time, bye-bye.